Hello everyone, Stakuya here, and welcome back to a Victoria 3 video. And do you know what time it is? It's time to free Tibet, baby. God, you know, I know that YouTube is already something that isn't allowed in China, but considering everything that I have talked about on my history pages, you know, about different events that have occurred in communist China, there is no way in hell that I'm ever going to be actually allowed to go there. Damn. Yeah, but I think it's fine, because today we're at least going to write one wrong in history, you know? Because the 19th century was not exactly the best for, uh, the Qing Chinese dynasty. No, no, not at all. It was the, uh, the century of shame, so to speak. Years upon years of just getting abused by all the other great powers, and then the entire country getting flooded with opium. So I guess the real question is, is can we take advantage of all of that uh, chaos, all of that instability, and free ourselves, and not only get free, not only can we free Tibet, returning it to its rightful independent place, but can we also simultaneously turn it into a decent power? Well, let's jump right into it. All right, January 1st, 1836, we start off with a mere five construction. I don't even think, do we have the ability to upgrade ourselves to the next level? No, wait, we don't, we don't have a single construction queue. That's lovely. We're making a grand total of 7,000 pounds <laughs> per week. All right, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty weak over here. We have basically no industry whatsoever. We have nothing in the way of manufacturing. We only have the resources of wood along with livestock and rye plantations. Actually, rye plantations and only one of these. The other one is livestock. That is it. That is the only thing that we have is Tibet. Also, with a massive deficit, it looks like, in terms of uh, taxable ability here. Yeah, capacity is pretty low, and all of our people are really poor. And under a million GDP. Wow, okay. We, we are worse off significantly more than I thought. And our government? What's our government like? Laws-wise, we are a theocracy, as Tibet is... Under the Dalai Lama, of course. State religion, all of these absolutely terrible. We at least don't have slavery, but we do have serfdom, which is something that we're going to need to get rid of. And from the start, we can't get rid of any of these things because we only have the monks that are in power who don't want to change anything. Well, first things first, we're going to go ahead and reform our government. Probably max this out here. We want to reduce the power of the landowners and the monks. So we're going to bring in the armed forces. We bring them in. That is going to allow us to probably change a couple things. It's going to make the government way more legitimate. And that means that we will be able to start going over here and changing things to professional army. We could get a monarchy too if we wanted to, but I don't want to because the monks are probably better than the landowners in this case. Technology wise, let's see what we can do here. Cotton gin, society, we have nothing in the way of tech, not even the ability to produce universities. So now here's the thing, despite all that being said, Tibet itself is not in the worst position possible. Yes, we don't really have much of an industry, but we can build that up. The bigger thing that is the bonus is that if we were on our own, Tibet has a very small market. But as it stands, we are a part of the Qing Chinese market, which means that all the demand, all the supply, everything is in here is tied to the Qing, which is not the best market, absolutely, but it is a very large one. So whatever goods that we produce will be able to be sold for a much higher price to the Qing market, which is going to make our people way, way better off. And because we are such a small state with only two actual states in here, this means that we can pump our massive amount of authority into elevating our population. Hey everyone, Stakuya here, interrupting this video to let you know that the Dalai Lama has commanded that you like this video. If this video can get 5,000 likes in the next five days, then hey, we will do a part two that is going to have Tibet eat China. But now watch the rest of the video to see how we got here. So first things first, we're gonna do road maintenance in the capital. That's where we're gonna be doing a lot of our building. We are going to promote social mobility in both places to increase education access and qualifications. And then in our capital, we are going to do encourage manufacturing, and I believe that is it. That's pretty much all we are going to be needing right now. Thus, we keep all the bonus authority here that we can use later. And simultaneously, it means that we have minus 25% enactment time. When you combine that with our overall laws here that we're seeing, let's see, let me go back to it. 96% righteous government. That means also minus 50% enactment time. We're going to be able to pass our laws super fast as it is. So we're going to keep it up like that. So right from the beginning, we're going to make a beeline down here and we're going to start trying to get as much manufacturing as we possibly can. Cotton gin building, let's see, development-wise, we need some construction sectors, probably three here in Lhasa. All right, we're going to get services, and then probably one more, liquor. Not much in the way of tax, but it will be something at least. We want to get a surplus in here because we're going to be spending a lot of money. And immediately go to high taxes. We want to max this out as much as we possibly can. Because we have no source of iron, we're going to stay on wood here for quite a while, so the construction sectors is really what we're going to be needing. And goods-wise, since we're going to be needing a lot of government capacity, and that is a really big thing that hurts a lot of China, paper is going to be phenomenally more productive here than it normally would be. So we will go ahead and build a couple of those. Probably three. We have a big surplus of population that we're going to be able to use. 
See, look at how fast that is. Professional army already done 10% bonus. We are going to get this significantly quicker, I think. Oh, and it looks like Ching is already wrapped up with the opium wars that are going to be happening in Portugal. Sided with the Ching. That's going to be fun. Oh, whoa, we got professional army off like a 20% chance. Yes, that is exactly what we want. Fantastic. Nah, in the meantime, we're technically at war with the British. And the Portuguese sided with us. I'm not going to help you whatsoever, though. Oh, what is this? Enact serfdom abolished. We actually have a decent chance of getting that. Also, I'm realizing this from the beginning, but the Himalayan mountain range has some terrible effects. You would think that this would give some good bonuses to like resources, mining, stuff like that. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Just really hurts infrastructure and everything else. 40% chance success. Yes, that's what we want. Cotton gin. We got that. Blessed are the meek. Yes. Imbue them with loyalty. Absolve yourself of impure thoughts. Uh, Yeah, we'll get rid of the impure thoughts because we're probably going to get some decrease in standard of living. <laughs> You know, we're just we're just taxing the people to boost our industry. No big deal. It's like the Russian Ukrainian situation that occurred in the 30s. All right, next up up on here, the lathe. We are going to want to get our clothing industry underway once we finished off things here for paper mills. We now have served them abolished already in 1837. OK, OK, see, this is this is that is incredibly lucky. But also simultaneously, we start off in a better position faction wise than we would in many other backwards countries in the world. Because the it's not the landowners that are in charge from the beginning. It's the monks. It's the religious class. And so they're more malleable than the landed elite. So from the beginning, it's been a year and a half. We got a professional army and we got rid of serfdom. That is amazing. I've actually ran this test a couple times. And usually I have this done by around 1840. Having this done three years earlier, significantly better. So what's this? Undeserved blame? <laughs> They're unfairly blaming the poor living conditions in Lhasa on Kachin neighbors. Obviously, obviously it's them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, clearly all 0.2% uh, of the population. Yes, definitely. Ooh, an act landed voting. Do we already have pushes for that? 16%. Yes, yes. Let's push for that. Discord within the rural folk. Hey, yes, yes. Give me those bonuses. I swear, if we can get everything by like 1840, 1845, that will be insane. Look how fast this moves. There's the lathe. That's what we want. Excellent. Oh, boy. Uh, Ching, you get your market opened. You have war reps and you lose a treaty port. That's just lovely. Landed voting. That's three laws in two years. That is insane contested government everything is reformed here can we can we reform this can we get better no no we this is this is like the max that we're getting right now damn well we will see what happens this is everything is going to become a little bit more contentious at this point conservative party and the agrarian party yeah that kind of makes sense for where we are but hey look at this we can get a coalition that has all of these different groups in there really i could get all this and then i could get religious schools yes that that's what we're going to do we're going to get all of these guys in here just so we have some more groups, righteous government still, everyone loves us, and then schools, religious schools, yes. More education access, really get all this going. It's to the point that it's either going to succeed or it's just going to advance. Literally no one is going to fight us on this. Make sure we upgrade everything. Do we have coal? Do we actually produce coal within China? I don't know if we do. We don't produce coal. That's not something that we're going to have access to. That's going to be lovely. And by lovely, I mean terrible. But at least we got religious schools, you know, so who needs coal? Actually, on that note, can I increase institution level? No, I cannot. We only have the basic one, but it's all right. As we get that, we want to increase our literacy. We went from 22% to 28%. We're just going to get this better, get more technological spread. Next up on here, we already got paper mills. We're going to need tools, lots of tools within the Chinese market. That is a necessity. We could switch over to iron frame, but iron frame means also using iron, of which China doesn't seem to want to produce any of. All right, next up on here, technology-wise, we want to go here and get academia and then empiricism. We need to increase our education as much as possible. The more technological spread that we can get, the better we need literacy in order to get tech from everything else. We don't have the ability to pump out a bunch of universities like in the case of Belgium. We really don't. Census suffrage. Whoa, wait, could I get that? Potentially? 17? Wait, we got that on a 17% chance? What? Right before the election hits, too. Oh, baby. What does that do? Conservative Party is still the one in charge, but agrarians are still looming large, looming large, 100% righteous government. Damn. 
and agrarianism. Okay, we want to get romanticism because we need agrarianism because we got to really start fixing our economic systems. We are even on highest taxation now losing money because of our diplomatic packs. This is not the best and we need to improve that and we actually need to get some uh, investment going. But everyone loves us and we are super, well, okay, not everyone. The landowners have severely weakened themselves politically. So traditional, that that is what has been killing our taxation capacity. Yes, the bureaucracy is great, whatever, but taxation capacity on traditionalism is shit. Now I can move down to agrarianism, and that means the aristocrats will start investing. That is what we want. And the landowners actually want it, so that's awesome. Wait, hold on. It says that they oppose it, but it's supported? Who is it supporting? Wait, hold on. It says the landowners support it, but they're also opposed. Wait, wait a damn minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I reading this correctly? Oppose. Opposition against agrarianism. Landowners. Law is supported by two interest groups. Landowners. Make up your fucking minds. 500,000 loyalists. 45 people. There are some dudes, just like 45 dudes inside of a tavern somewhere, grumbling about the government. Literally every single other person in my country loves me. Agrarianism. Yes. Drastically boost that economy, baby. Is there anything else we can do? No, no, not particularly right now. We just need to really start boosting our education and getting that going more, which is exactly what we're working on once we get empiricism. Shortage of iron. You know, I really do hate the system that I can't just either prospect or find sources of iron and that I can't go to this market, go over here and be like, hey, hey, you all produce iron. I'm in your market. Can I invest in it? No. Well, screw me then. Per capita taxation. Baby, we are modern. It's only been 12 years and we're already set. Ching, what does Ching have? Politics. What are they, what, what are they looking like? They were forced to do you free trade. That's, that's pretty much the only thing they had to do. They still have appointed peasant levies still. Oh, God, it all looks so bad. Look at how modern and developed Tibet is in comparison. Look at it. And look, we're finally getting our first ever university in Lhasa. That should help us out to actually develop things. Migration controls. We now don't just not allow anyone to come here. Excellent. Because eventually we will actually run out of people, even though we're building so slowly. Still, though, despite the fact that our economy is pretty much fixed, it is in a great position, much better than we ever were before. We are still losing money. We could go up in taxes, which would be better for construction. But the problem is we are giving away 5,000 pounds per week is part of our diplomatic pack store overlord and that is just bad so what we're more likely going to do is spend the next five maybe six years here going ahead and building up our country and then i think we're going to try for independence maybe around 1855 maybe even as late as 1860 if we have to oh in the meantime Qinghai, beautiful beautiful provinces immediately across from us sichuan has coal and sulfur what about this iron oh i think i think these are the two that we're going to want we want these provinces we're going to need to get those. Let's see, 29 months, dialectics. Yeah, we're going to want to get our technology up as high as we possibly can. The further we can get ahead of Ching, the better. There we go, National Guard. That is done. Fantastic. Anything else that we can do next? Colonial Affairs doesn't exactly do anything for us. We're not colonizing. We're not getting any of that stuff. Health system. Ooh, this is what we want. Charity hospitals. Yes. Honestly, this is looking pretty damn good. We just need to really break free, boost our economy up to the point that we'll be able to do that more effectively. And in the meantime, we should start improving relations with all different powers around us in order to get them to like us and potentially support us. Let's see, there's dialectics. Do we want to start getting pharmaceuticals, any of this other stuff? Central archives. All this would be huge, but what we are more than likely going to need to get next is working on our military weaponry. Anything we can get to support ourselves further here. I'll say field work, shell gun. Yeah, we're going to start getting all this stuff because we're going to be doing some serious fighting here. The better we can get our defenses going, the better. Oh, wait, and I forgot. We can switch over universities to philosophy department. Yes, more expensive, but simultaneously so much more innovation and everything else. Yes, we went from generating only 50 to just under 60 innovation. I understand, but that's still a really big increase from what we were. And technology is going to be spreading a hell of a lot faster as our literacy goes up and up and up. Wait, Great Ching. Great Ching is in a customs union with Portugal. Why? What? What? Great Ching is the senior partner customs union with Portugal. What? What the fuck? What? Oh, God, this might actually be harder than I thought. What the hell happened? Who that is good. We're making money now here after upgrading some of our businesses. Now, hopefully we can produce as much as we possibly can over the course of the next couple of years. I'm guessing probably 1860. Uh, I'm going to have to delay when it is. That I'm going to go for independence. 
All right, there's field works. Let's see here. Anything else we can get to boost our defense? Triage. Yeah, we're not going to have access to any of that stuff, so it doesn't matter. Unlocks skirmisher infantry. Really? Already? Here? Really? Well, shoot, you know we're going to want that, and we're going to want percussion cap. Even though we're going to have significantly less forces, if we can get higher quality infantry, we will be much, much better off. Railways unlocked. I'm not even researching it. We're just unlocking it by proxy. There is general staff. Next up on here, percussion cap. We are going to need that. Also, shit, I realize that Shang have actually upgraded to line infantry, so they will be a little bit better off than I initially thought that they would be. I thought they would still be on irregular at this point. Oh, are we at our limit? We are stockpiling gold. Yes, we are. Okay. You know, buddy, it is time that we start switching over. Irregular? No, we're going down to skirmisher. Is it going to be a big loss? Yes, it is, but this is what we need. And let's get some more barracks built up here because, you know, that's going to be necessary. All right, there is rifle production. Let's see here. Next up on here, breach loading, repeaters. No, all this is going to take probably too long to get. Back to trying to fix our economy then. Intensive agriculture, maybe. Will that fix us? Will that help? A lot, actually. A lot. Okay. All right. Yes. Boost up productivity for everything. All right. Let's see. What is it? Shortage of ammunition. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are we hurting on all this? By a lot, actually. Wait, why? Because we don't have enough explosives or lead. Wait, can I not produce any of that? Well, let's see here. Next up, we got to start recruiting generals. Uh, what do we got? Opium addicts, which is lovely. All right. Uh, fun. And an expert defensive recruit? Oh, yeah, you know we got to. You know we have to. Well, my brothers, there's no time like the present. Let's see if we can go ahead and get our independence. We are losing 9.7K every single week to Great Ching. Yeah, no, we, we won out. We won out. Wait, are they not allowing us to break free? Can we not demand independence? Is that not working? Oh, I can't do it because they... they no, no, our relations are cordial. Shoot, I forgot. We can't do that. All right, we're expelling the diplomats. And let's see if we can weaken relations. Crap, that was that was my mistake. I thought we could do that way earlier. No, no, we're draining our gold reserves and all of this. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. That's not what I wanted. All right, now we can do it. A couple months later, after expelling the diplomats, doing all that crap, now we're in this situation where Portugal would side with them. Japan would side with them. Why would everyone side with ja with them? They have a defensive pact. Are you shitting me? Why is everyone going against me? Why? Portugal, why the fuck are you in a customs union with the Qing? Well, fuck. I thought that I would be able to do that. No, it looks like I have to go back to using line infantry. I don't, I don't actually have the ability to maintain skirmisher because I can't do any of that. Shit. We're going to have to go back. We have to downgrade ourselves for better defense. Well, shit, this is, uh, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted at all. Why does Jing suddenly have a defensive pact with Russia? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Why would Austria side against me? You know, fuck it. We have to try. Let's go for it. I don't care anymore. I, d I don't care. Mobilizing everyone. Activate all battalions. And it's time to put ourselves here on the front. Portugal abandoned their support. Oh, hey, everyone's abandoning their support. Really? Can I sway anyone? Nope. No one is willing to help little old Tibet. Really? Wow just like modern life. All right, we can only add a single state here, Chinhai on. If we can take it, great. If we can't, we'll see what happens. All right, well, this should be fun. Okay, before things break out, a couple things we're gonna have to do. Let's see here. First off, we're gonna have to raise taxes, high as we possibly can. Second thing, boost military wages. We max that out, get as much morale recovery as we can, and hopefully, for the love of God, please let us survive. Let's do it, baby. First conflict, let's see, let's see. Ooh, big battle right from the beginning. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, vastly superior defense. We are taking that. We are taking that. 30% from commander trait. Wait, what is the territory we're fighting in? Is it terrain farmlands? Really? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not fighting in the mountains here? I guess that's just this little territory here that is much harder. I thought that we'd have a, I thought we'd have a way bigger advantage here to start out in. First victory, first victory. That's huge. Also, apply first aid. Maybe if we get this, we will be better off. We can recover a little bit faster, I think, even if we're hemorrhaging money right now. Oh, it's a little bit worse for us here. Um, Can we can we do it? Can we do it? Uh, I think we can. I think we can. We are beating their asses down. Yes. Why the planes, though? This should all be mountains. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Are we actually going to win a fight? Are we going to win a fight? Oh, yes, yes. This should not be happening, but it is. I wish that we could see actual more details of what is going on in the battles because none of this, the secret dice rolls and all this stuff, it just, it doesn't make sense. All right, we just need a singular little province. That's it. Just a singular little province. That's it. 
Come on. Take it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. We now have a little piece of this here. Inch and high. This is the goal. That means that we're going to start getting ticking war score as long as we can maintain control of this province. So defensive time. We have superior defensive abilities versus everything else, essentially. See, this is what I'm talking about. From the beginning, on the defensive, we're going to have a little bit of a numerical advantage. The land here is bad. They can't put many troops, even though they outnumber us like four or no, not four, almost 10 to one, like eight to one, basically here. But we can maintain our superior defense, probably with some numerical superiority and break the enemy. Boom. There we go. There's another one. They are gradually going to start losing support over and over again. Minus 0.2 because their enemy controls 100% of the war goal. See, that's one of the interesting things in here that doesn't make sense about the war system. They're going to lose two war support per day because we have control of the war goal. We have a single province or a single section of it. We don't own the entire thing. So why the hell this counts in war? War really needs to be rebalanced. It really does. Once again, showing that superiority, getting them down. Also, I realized I should have asked for war reparations from the beginning. I forgot to do that. Damn it. There we go. More battles being won. More. We're going to drain our entire reserve here at this point, just trying to get all this fixed, but it's fine. There we go. Beat them back. Beat them back. That's what we want. Keep on going, baby. Keep on going. They're down to 18. We got this. If we can just hold the line, just hold the line. Ooh, 22. Even, even. Oh no, no, it's not even. We got vast superiority. Wipe them out. Wipe them out all. Honestly, we should have a bigger advantage than what we do. Everything around here should be mountains, but for whatever reason, it keeps on saying the terrain is farmlands, and I don't understand, because if I'm getting screwed over by the Himalayan mountains, then the Himalayan mountains should be also protecting me. There we go, just keep it going. The longer that we can drain them in battle, the better, because the war score for them is going to just keep on dropping with time. You thought that you could take me in the mountains, boys? That ain't happening. The Dalai Lama's back. Oh, Russia enforced? Really? Really? I guess we've already knocked them out. They weren't going to be supporting Great Ching. I guess I was probably more worried than I had any right to be. Russia still at 29% literacy versus my grand total of 77.7, .7, mind you. Damn. We are really building this up. Actually, how much population is in Qinghai? 1.32 million. I have... Okay, that's bigger than one of my other states. That'll increase by 33%. That'll probably send my literacy plummeting below 50, I'm guessing. <laughs> Oh, the Japanese shogunate also gone. There's no way they could have reached me. So yeah, I couldn't get any help at all myself, but simultaneously, I don't need it. All right, make peace. What are we at? What are we at? Okay, they would accept a white peace already. Independence, minus 41, minus 91. Now we're going to have to take this all the way to minus 100, I think. Medical cleanliness, it's been suggested by some nurses working on the front lines in the Tibet versus Great Qing War that adopting new cleanliness procedures will reduce the number of deaths. You don't say... How many people have died in the war so far at this point, actually? Review, uh, we've cost ourselves 960,000, but we've cost them 2.65 million. That's a little bit of a difference in terms of death so far at this point. Then again, the Chinese can probably spare. Oh, utterly eviscerating them. Come on, buddies. We have here even? Nope, nope, not even. Their offense is utter shit. 96%, come on. Are we, are we going to be able to inflict the war goal? Can we do it? Capitulation, everyone, I give you, yes, the great state of Tibet. We're free. Oh, look at that beautiful blue color. We look like the most fantastic sneaker in the butt of China. Oh, dear God, though, we need to lower our budget for everything. We do not need this stuff anymore. We're no longer giving our money away. How are our buildings? We have our own economy now, right? Yeah, it's, it's probably not going to be the best. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Everything is super expensive. Actually, it's not so expensive. What the hell? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're going to need a really rebalanced economy because we are no longer in the Qing market. Quick, Britain, can I become your protectorate? No. Is there anyone that will allow me to become the protectorate? Let's see. Diplomatic plays. Can I have anything? Annex subject. No. Do I not have any options? Diplomatic actions. Ask to become tributary. Ask to become protectorate. Who would accept? Great Britain? They would not accept. Why would they not accept? Why would you not want me to become your protectorate? Like, come on, buddy. Customs union? The Sikh empire? They would not accept? No. I want to sell my goods. I can't sell my goods anywhere. <laughs> oh, we can actually send all of this to Ching. Okay, so we can. Their market is open, so we can continue to trade with them, actually. Okay, that's that's at least feasible. We can do that. All right, fabric, we want that to be cheap. Paper, that's actually probably a little too cheap. We don't we don't want that. Uh, export route, send it to Ching. Yeah, they are the ones that really want paper. And in the meantime, we are going to need to increase our demand for paper domestically. So government administration, standardized filing system, increase all that. Yes, give us the bureaucracy that we're going to need for this. 
And at the same time, how much will it cost to incorporate this state? 125, really? Wow, that's a lot. We're gonna need more government buildings, I'm sure. But guys, we are free. We are finally free. So at least we have that. At least we have that. We are good. A defensive pact for seek. Oh, ooh. Do we, do we want to do that? Do we want to do that? No, I don't. I don't think I necessarily want to do that though. It might. It might go badly if the British decide to get involved. All right. So let's let's try and get this economy fixed again because we are. Oh boy, are we gonna need it? Lower taxes. Get all that going in here. We need to build a reserve huge deficit on all this though we no longer have access to silk so we need to get rid of that dye workshop produce less clothes but oh yeah we don't need goods we don't need those goods okay do we want to start importing dyes do we actually want to do that it would probably make it less profitable this would save a lot of our economy i think we can always upgrade it later on just go back to the earlier days yeah we, we had to go back in time to make it more profitable that's all that we could do oh no and i don't have any iron I completely forgot about iron. Oh, shoot. If Because I couldn't get that other province over here that has the iron, I, I'm in going to be in bad shape. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actually, 120 demand. Ooh, we're, we're going to be we're going to be hurting. We're going to be hurting. All right. Everything has to go back in time now. Oh, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Now I could ask to become a protectorate. Should I do it? I would need a port connection so I could become a protectorate and then that might allow me to go after the Qing. Do we do it? Do we do it and then try to get independence from British afterwards? You know what, fuck it, I want in. Help me fix my economy, come on. Yes, Tibet is now a protectorate of Great Britain. Fantastic, that means that our overall market significantly fixed. Ah, uh, now, now we only have the British to worry about here, excellent. And we gradually start incorporating the state here that we conquered, which will fix all of our issues, I think, market-wise. Oh. And we are finally maxed out here, infrastructure-wise. Okay, okay. Now, now is actually a time that we need to start building up railroads. Thank God we can actually do it here in the first place then. The first ever railroad to be built in the mountains of Tibet. Yeah, that's that's going to be a bit of a trial. Well, I guess that is meaning it's time that we just go ahead and start focusing on uh, trying to fix aspects of our economy then and get all this going. <laughs> At least we're not paying anything. And let us see. Now we are finally in a situation. Should we go ahead and upgrade to iron frame? It's going to be more expensive. Yes, it is. It's going to be way more expensive, but that means we'll actually be able to build stuff. We are finally getting iron frame buildings in 1868. No more wooden shit falling down in Tibet. Britain, why would you, why would you damage? No, no, buddy, buddy. I'm your protectorate. I'm your protectorate. Okay. Don't, don't hurt me. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful construction points. No longer 11. And that is it being built. And there it is, the first ever railway, 1869, built here in Lhasa. How lovely, how cute. That only added like like eight infrastructure, and that's it. Fuck, the Himalayas are awful. Why does this not provide me any kind of bonus? Genuinely, wh why? Whoa, I'm losing way more than I thought that I would there. Okay, okay, that could be a bit of a problem. All right, hey, do this construction sector, gotta reduce it. I'm sorry, we, we gotta reduce it by one. We gotta get, we gotta... We gotta, we, we don't have the resources to be able to pump all this stuff out. We really don't. Days of darkness. Oh no, no, no. Krakatoa, really? We'll send them food, no. All right, the people of Tibet will help, even if they don't want to. Also, can I just say, as Tibet, we rose from a position 110 to like number 34 in the world. Genuinely very impressive. Uh, is Tibet going into debt? Yep, yep, I bet it is. Oh, we are losing so much money in interest now. This is actually kind of starting to get a little bit bad, I think. And well, since we have agrarianism and clearly we can't do anything with our markets, I guess that means the only thing optional for us to do is to start investing in all of our farms. Because <laughs> that's a thing then. Ah, back to making copious amounts of money again. Because all the nobles are just investing into farms. How lovely. Well, if farming is all we can do, then farming is pretty much all we can do. Let's go ahead and queue up at about 30 of these. Yeah, now we'll get to 30. That's what we're going to do. Burma, rivalry. Yeah, no, screw you. Finally get ourselves back in the positive money-wise, which is going to be very important for us, to say the least. Oh, we are actually out of money for investing now. Okay, okay, so that's no longer a thing. That's not going to be happening. Well, you know what I realized? You know what I realized? We're actually in a situation now. I'm part of the British market. That means I can probably go up here and update to skirmisher infantry, don't I? Yeah, yeah, I can. Skirmisher infantry, we got the better artillery. We got all this. Can I do, can I do any of this? That, that would be pretty expensive to do, but I could. 
Really, as soon as I finish with these railways, we should be good to go for another war. But you know, with that all being said, I think it's time that we end today's episode. And if you would like to see Tibet go and take its rightful place in the sun and knock out China as was always its destiny, then please make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, do anything you can to help this video in the algorithm. If this video can get, and you know, because it's not the My Little Pony one, which is the next thing that I'm going to need to work on. If this thing can get 5,000 likes in the span of the next five days, we will continue this Tibet run and we will remove China. We will eat the dumpling. But I need your all support to make that happen. So please, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, everyone.